and Jerry's Cherry Garcia ice cream is stacked with so much fudge and cherries, it'll have you screaming at the top of your lungs. And they love two particular types of food, ice cream and bagels. And they decided that starting a bagel business was too expensive, so they chose to go with ice cream. Starts with farm fresh milk, which is pumped into one of these silos. Nearly 30,000 liters is stored in these massive tanks at a cool two degrees Celsius. From the silos, the milk is pumped into a mixing tank. Here, cream, liquid cane sugar, egg whites, and natural stabilizers are also added. After a quick 30 minute spin, the mix is pumped to a pasteurizer. Here, it's heated to 83 degrees Celsius, killing any potential bad bacteria. Before it can cool, the hot blend is pumped into a homogenizer, where it's forced under high pressure to break down any fat globs. Ugh, I wish my gym had one of those. First, fresh cherries and fudge are loaded into separate hoppers. An auger, a kind of rotating corkscrew, feeds the chunks of cherries and fudge onto a star wheel. As the wheel turns, cherries and fudge are forced into the ice cream. Twin nozzles deposit Cherry Garcia ice cream into tubs two at a time. 64 tubs are filled per minute. A quart is almost a liter. That's for you metric fans. Put a lid on it. How rude. Oh, not like that. It's time to put a lid on the ice cream. The spiral freezer runs at minus 51 degrees Celsius. Folks joke that this is the coldest place in Vermont. And two hours later, the ice cream is frozen solid, ready to be packed. The ice cream is palletized, then moved to a 4,000 square foot freezer, cooled to minus 20 degrees Celsius. I scream, you scream. We all scream for Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia ice cream.